peace, love, light, and king noble black supremacy. In this video, I just wanted to use food as an example as to why we eat to survive as black supremacists. I wanted to express a more revolutionary mindset when it comes to that. White supremacy preys upon the comfort of others. We are at war here. Um, the first thing that white supremacy looks to attack is our mind, to uh, shackle the mind and control the mind. And how does white supremacy control the mind? Um, they control um, the mind through comfort, giving us things that we are overly joyed about. Hot water, delicious food, which most people on the planet eat meat. Um, and even some of our vegans and vegetarians, like, we got to fall off of the uh, the fake meats and whatnot. Um, we, we have to go to beans, rice, etc., etc. Just to, just for just an example, you know. Um, many people, I, I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but I'm, I'm going to mention this thing and go back to my topic. Many people are under the impression that, um, eating vegan or eating vegetarian is expensive. It's only expensive if you are eating quote unquote good, eating for flesh, um, <clears throat> eating cause it just tastes good. Not, you know, not necessarily for its, uh, nutritional value or uh, eating for survival even the nutritional value you know we got the um the word out on the street e organic and all of that that's semi secondary you want to eat for survival first and then if you have it to eat organically then eat organically but don't get too tied up into that because that is also a form of manipulation because organically that you don't know what's organic these days yeah you do not know what's organic these days so you got to be careful with that too as well that's also a form of manipulation manipulating um funds um getting persons to pay more First of all, we shouldn't even have to be paying for to eat on this planet. It should grow from the earth and we should be able to eat it. But that's a, that's another video. Okay, let me, let me try to get back to my topic. Because like I said, I wanted to go into uh, a, re a more revolutionary aspect uh, in my topic. So, like I was sharing before, we are at war. White supremacy first attacks the psyche, shackles the mind. The way that white supremacy, again, shackles the mind is through our comfort. Like I said, in this video, I wanted to use food as an example. Um, so, the reason why black supremacists eat to survive uh, is we are preparing ourselves for war. So once white supremacy feels like mass society is comfortable enough, is obeying enough, they are going to snatch that comfort away. And at that point, they are going to try to gain even more control and start to do other things. So that's why um, King Noble Black Supremacy, we encourage others to get comfortable with being uncomfortable right now because we are at war right now it just nece it doesn't necessarily feel like it because we are being attacked for the sake of comfort and we are mentally being shackled which is harder to identify than if you were actually in physical enslavement and even with physical enslavement our ancestors some of our ancestors didn't even know they were slaves but I hope you're able to enjoy this video. I hope you're able to uh, wrap your mind around what I'm sharing with you because it's extremely important to realize who the enemy is, to realize that we are at war right now. They're just different degrees that we should be preparing right now and uh, be able to be in control right now. So 
uh, make sure you uh, love the video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share peace, love, light, and King Noble Black Supremacy.